Hey, hey, hey players, this is your boy Lathias, and today I'm bringing you the top 10 tips for beginners in 2018 regarding all the new patches, guys. Now, guys, I'm here to show you guys exactly what you need to survive on Orca Island. I'm here to show you what kind of bugs there are, what kind of things you need to look out for, but the most important thing I want you to do in this game is to experience the PvE aspect as much as you can before you even think about taking on players. In the beginning of the game guys, I just want you to survive. Explore the island, see all the things you need to see, and just get all the guides that you need to get. Kill a few brutes, and just get familiar with the whole game, okay? And when you guys feel ready, and you think you can take on this island with your eyes closed, then, it's ready to, then you're ready to take on the players, and get onto a full server. Now guys, number one on the tips is rags. Rags are the most important thing that you will find in the beginning of your game. Because with rags, you can craft everything you need to become a great survivor and of course to raid bases. Now, the big thing about rags is that you can get it in every single house, okay, of every single thing that looks like you can get material off it. Every shirt you can tear into a rag, every pair of pants, every cushion, every blanket, every flag, there's a lot of things. Number one is a horseshoe pack. If you can't find a backpack, a horseshoe pack is going to save your life, okay, and give you five extra slots to put things in. Another thing is the headbands. When you're in a clan, you need those headbands, okay? Of course, rags can make you scarves as well to make you look cool, okay? And of course, the things that I mentioned, a hammer, you will need, a hatchet you will need, and a pickaxe you will need, okay? To chop trees, hit base walls to get into a base, to get a pickaxe you will need to get stones if you're not going to pick it up. So again, guys, rags is your primary objective when you start this game. Tip number two is of course that you need rags to survive as well, okay? Any kind of damage you take, you will need a rag to heal yourself up faster and to remove bleeding markers. Bleeding markers will be your worst enemy, guys. As you, see, as you will see with this attack, 28%. As soon as I get the bleeding marker, I am losing health. As you see there, 6%, 5%, and then I'm using the rag. Okay, if I did not have a rag there, guys, I would have passed out before I was able to remove a clothing item and save myself. The third tip is basically, guys, if your food and water is 50% and below, you will not heal. Doesn't matter if you take a rag. If your food and water is in the yellow, you will heal, but at a very sl much slower rate. And you'll need to sit down to make your healing go faster. But if your food and water is in the green, you will heal at the maximum speed and get back into the game as quickly as possible. Okay? So remember, keep that food and water of yours full and take a rag or a bandage just to give it a push. Tip number four, guys, is there's a lot of world items which you can interact with. The problem with world items at the moment is that if your gun is raised, then you won't, it will look like you can't interact with it. The text won't come up, okay? But when you lower your gun, then the text will come up and you'll be able to interact with it. Just like you see here, my guns, my gun, there, I put the, my gun back and I can see the text. Okay, so remember, just press tab. If you think you can't eat berries or apples or get rocks or get sticks from bushes, just press the tab button until you can interact with them, guys. Great tip there for you. Tip number five, guys, is when you swim, be very careful. There's a bug in the game at the moment. If you use alt while swimming to look around like I'm doing at the moment, something happens 
that makes you lose oxygen like I'm doing there while you're above water as you guys see I'm losing health while I'm above water and I can't stop it now if this happens to you change the speed okay leave your shift key press the shift key again leave your shift key you know just do different things for it to stop and if you're very scared of this happening to you never let your oxygen get too low and always make sure you're close to the side so that you can get out of the water as soon as possible please guys it will be very frustrating if you're fully geared tip number six is if you want to loot quickly as you can see i've got a pair of pants on i want to take those pair of pants i throw down look at the old pants and just left click on all the items and i'm done okay i just changed pants and and i can get on with my mission yeah, I've got the best duffel bag that I found. I'm throwing out the old one, looking at my rugged pack, just left clicking everything, guys. If you want to loot, remember left click, okay? It will be the difference between life and death. As you see, I've killed the guy, and what am I doing? I'm dragging items, guys. Now I can hear mutant coming for me, so I am in a hurry. But as you will see, I'm taking a lot of time dragging the items where I could have just clicked on all his items that I wanted and it would have gone into my inventory, okay? If I was naked, I could have clicked on the player icons and it, I could have been dressed like him within a few seconds. The biggest thing at the moment, guys, is the PvE, okay? Yeah, I'm running, I'm just trying to enjoy the game and I got a deer, I'm going to shoot the deer with my shotgun. There we go. You can do it with a hunting rifle as well if you want to feel like a hunter. But I'm getting meat, guts and various items that I can craft with. Eating the guts quickly, which gives me about 10% food, so very helpful. Yeah, I'm just practicing my AR abilities, okay? I don't want to shed in my pants when I see a player, so I want to see what it's like getting a brute. And right there I've worked out that a brute takes about 10 shots to the upper body i haven't got any bullets what am i going to do now well because i've played the game for a long time i know i can use my weapon i don't have to waste time to reach for an axe or a, you know a samurai sword or something like that i can just kick his ass with the gun and of course right here i'm practicing my headshot the biggest thing that will make you survive and miscreate it when you get to the pvp aspect is to get your headshots in and to stay calm under pressure okay now in the beginning you won't find it this easy to stay calm under pressure but you can play around with the damage that every weapon does okay how close do i need to be to a mutant before the shotgun has maximum power okay um how many shots you know can i fire at a long distance and again if you want attention, shoot your gun, okay? Tell the players you're here and you're ready for action. But again, most important thing is just play around with it. And a nice tip, guys, if you've raided a base and you stole the guy's quad like I've done, don't stay on your hatchet that you used to hit down the wall with because your weapon has durability. So as you see, I'm just going to hit the guy twice. And my weapon's broken. Okay, probably still would have died. But if I equipped my shotgun before I got onto the bike, I would have climbed off, off the bike with my shotgun and the guy would have been dead. Don't know why I didn't die of the bump, but you know, that's life. Seventh tip, guys, is just to get all the guides. Okay, as you guys see, I've hidden my small wood crate to put in all the guns that I've found for safekeeping in case I'm you know when I go into a big fight I want to invite some friends give them the weapons you know and we'll kick some ass but it's on a new server and I love jumping between servers to experience different islands because every server's islands have got different bases different players so it's fun but without the guides building is going to be very frustrating for you guys okay tip number eight is of course that you need to build as many parts 
as possible if you want your base to last okay so when you got all the guides build as many parts you can you can build 250 parts i've built 20 there and you will see that 20 parts gives me 168 hours that i have before i have to come back because if you don't come back in that time your base will be gone okay it's, it will decay and it will be very easy to break into to reset that time you just have to interact with anything so i'm dismantling my little poop pot here and you will see now that i look at the timer again and my timer has reset to the full time so you just have to interact every now and then but don't put down a plot sign and think you're all right okay a plot sign and a crate don't think you're all right because that's going to give you basically a day or yeah i think it's about 24 hours something might happen tomorrow that you can't play when you come back your crate's gone and your plot sign is gone okay so when you have all the crates and you can build the epic base make sure you use as many parts as you can and the more parts you build the longer your base will be able to stay there that's why the big bases that you guys will see will stay there for a very very long time because the guys have used the maximum amount of parts so they can basically stay away from the game as long as they want okay a lot of time that they can stay away a lot of weeks that they can stay away and their base will still be there so they only need to play about once a month or something like that to to not let their base disappear and then again guys tip number nine is the most dangerous places in miscreated is first of all the airfield okay the airfield is the da most dangerous place in the southern part of the island it doesn't always have great loot but if you get on a lucky run you can really get some great weapons but with great weapons comes danger as well i saw those two guys with their ars and i wasn't planning on taking on two guys with a shotgun okay so i just got out of there now to the middle part of the um, island are the military checkpoints which you will get between Woodhaven and Hayward Valley and Brightmoor and um, Hayward Valley but of course the military checkpoints between um, Brightmoor and Hayward Valley are much better okay and of course on all those checkpoints and scaffolding you will get great loot. Orca Dam is of course another great place where you will get, get great loot but again it's one breach and if you get company like a clan or something like that you're in some deep trouble okay so make sure you plan your extra strategies what i love to do when i'm in deep shit is just jump off the bridge not on the side where you're going to fall yourself to death into the other side okay guys the water or i just like to hide okay and let the guys come to me and you know just die with honor but yes, of course, Haywood Valley is the best location for um, action. And the police station and the scaffolding areas there will be your best places for epic loot. Guys, the last tip is miscreated is the best survival game at the moment, I promise you later when dead matter comes out we'll see if that's successful but everything else has failed so far okay look at that map orca island is big there's a lot of things to explore there's a lot of situations you can put yourself into write down missions for yourself okay don't don't wait for the game to give you missions you know make your own missions your own objectives okay and just have fun guys I had a shotgun, don't know how many shots it takes a, a shotgun to kill a brute, but there's only one way to find out. I almost lost all my loot right there, running away from another mutant with 4% health. Now that's a nice rush. And guys, when you've done with the PvE part of the game, or while you're busy with it, don't worry you always run into players okay but with all your pve experience you will know what sounds to look out for how to use your stealth better always crouch never use shift while crouching 
because every any time you run with shift or crouch with shift and move fast you will attract mutants you don't want to attract mutants because mutants gives away your position and you want to stay as quiet as possible never let your opponent hear you first always know where he is and try and make it as difficult as you can for him to know where you are now this guy thought he was going to be sneaky coming in the back door but I'm ready for him I've got two angles that I need to cover but he's dead guys I mean he's just dead okay I'm in the power position here I don't care what weapon he has but he's dead and guys this is Matthias I hope you enjoy these tips I hope you enjoy this game tell your friends about it make a clan make an epic base <laughs> Enjoy yourself, guys.